Hello, so we are back and this time with a very interesting fault. What do we have here is a Huawei laptop. Ryzen 5 looks like a decent laptop. Now this job is coming from uh, a local repair shop. Let's read the laptop uh, repair history. So the laptop has been sold by the computer shop in 2022. Then the laptop came 24 August, turning off randomly, battery doesn't work, uh, 80 pound job, uh, probably they assume it's a motherboard be sure, like how I see in here, overheating. Then in 28 August, that's been four days apart, clean fan, replace thermal paste, no power, charging light flashing. Now what I'm assuming uh, happened is the people try to do a overheating job, yeah, like cleaning the fans, replacing the thermal paste, and the laptop died inside of the computer shop without leaving the shop. Now, this is a very common fault, yeah, happens so many times, happened to me also. Let's check, yeah, yeah, I see in the fault. Let's check first what the laptop is doing. Usually, I don't do videos like, okay, I found the fault and I start, I press the record button. But I was not meant to do a video with this repair, but it's an interesting fault. It's an interesting fault. We have 19 volts and around 200, 300 milliamps. Yeah, you can see the current there. So that current can be taken by the board or by, by the battery. When I press the power button, check there. Yeah, the current is going to zero, then it's coming back to like 300 milliamps. That means the EC chip. It's up and running and he's reading the power button and he's trying to do something when he press the power button. Now, just to make clear what is taking this power, I will disconnect the battery. So the battery is disconnected. And now the laptop is not taking any current. You can see it's about like, what, 20 milliamps. Let's press the power button. Uh, power button is here. Pressing the power button, the current is going up to like 200 milliamps and it's going back to zero quickly. You can see. Check that. Pressing. No, it's not happening anymore. So it happens like a few times and that's all. Let's try one more time. No current, pressing the power button, the current is going up and then it's going back to zero. Pressing the power button and now it's not doing anything. So uh, that's what can happen. And like how I said, can happen, this is happening very often. I mean, what they did, yeah? They took out the heatsink and the fan, they cleaned the fan, they replaced the thermal piece. What could possibly happen uh, with a, such a small uh, repair. I mean, they remove the heatsink, they replace the terminal page, they put the heatsink back, and the laptop died. And uh, I've seen, like, especially on the gaming laptops, uh, somehow, uh, by mistake, the people, uh, you know, crack, uh, like, a corner of the CPU or something like that. But also, you can spot something odd here. Huh? Can you spot something odd? Hmm? So they remove the heatsink. Yeah, basically the fan is on the heatsink. Check out that that connector position looks odd for you. Huh? Check that. It's like a little bit angle. You can see it. The connector. And this is a very common problem. Now I will take out the the connector and let's have a look inside. So the connector is out. Let's go under the microscope and check inside, yeah? Now you can see how the connector is looking inside. So actually two pins are touching together. And that's the reason why the laptop died in the moment they replace the thermal paste and they clean the fan. Now I'm gonna try to bend back that pin. Yeah, we can see it's shorting the other pin. But even if we are bending back this thing, it's still bent, you can see. Yeah. So we have to use two tools. And we are straightening the pin. 
Yeah, like that. Uh, looks better. Let's bend back this pin. So how is looking for you? Huh? Kind of looking better, right? Okay, let's plug now the fan connector. Yeah, and goes inside perfectly. Good. Now let's test it one more time. I'm going to plug the charger. Plug in the charger. The meter is coming on. Now I will press the power button. Actually, I don't have to press the power button because the laptop came on straight away. You can see it's taking like 900, 1 amp. You can see it, 1 amp, 1.2 amps. And we have picture and it's loading the windows. So you see, this is a common uh, common mistake. Now, the fans on uh, these days are uh, digital fans. That's mean uh, what was shorted here, probably the data line was shorted to 5 volts. That's what I, I believe. Uh, the red, yeah, the red wire is on this side. Yeah, the five volts was shorted with a data line. Let's plug the battery. The battery is plugged. Pressing the power button. I'm assuming the laptop is coming on. Yeah, the laptop it is coming on, and the battery is charging fine. And it's loading the windows. The fan is not spinning. Can be something faulty. We can heat up the heatsink to trigger the fan. Just be careful because it's a small delay uh, for the fan in order to start. It's about 70 degrees and the fan start so everything is fine cool so looks like the battery is charging the battery is holding the the charge and yeah it's loading the windows Now, have in mind this fault, because it, it happened to me. I mean, you know, just you plug the connector and you can see it's going inside. You have to push more. And then you can see this, you know, just angle a little bit and you know the pins are bent inside. And as you can see, you can bend back that pins very easily. On an extreme case, or actually you can't really bend back or you don't have a, a microscope, yeah? you can easily break the this part of the plastic yeah and that's not a problem you break this part and you have visual access to the pins and you can bend the pins then you can plug the you can plug the connector back and the connector it will sit properly yeah okay just you know a, a small video with this particular uh, a short video with this particular uh, caused fault yeah caused fault so I'm gonna stop here, you know, thank you for watching, like, subscribe if you like the video, and see you on the next one, bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button, and you can get instantly access to our uh, members only cool collection, and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay, where you can find some cool and unique products, United States eBay store, or our Patreon page. Thank you.